you need to set these settings right here, A, B, and D. So A will always be the width of your rim to the, tire, to the wheel balancer. So you just uh, bring your little measuring tool out and press it up against the inside of the rim like that. And mine gives me eight. So we'll go eight, just like that. B will always be this tool. And what it is, is the, the width of your rim. So you go from inside bead area to inside bead area, and we have eight. As you can see, like that kind of deal. And wherever it stops, that's what you set it at. You can actually do points with this guy, like uh, 8.2, 8.5, whatever it measures up to. So we have an eight. Oh, we're already set on eight right there. So that's that. And D will always be diameter, diameter of your rim. So this is a 17 inch rim. We will go with 17, just like that. Then uh, you have these settings here. As you can see, I don't know if, uh, let's have, have a better look. So we have these settings here. Um, a Luma 3 will be one if there's no place to put a clip on weight like this guy. On the front, you will use a Luma 3. You'll, and then you'll put a sticky weight on the inside of the rim. In the back here, where nobody can see it, and you put a clip on in the back. Um, a Luma 2 is for two sticky weights. A Luma 1, well, you'll hardly ever use that you're going to put uh, that uh, they're so deep dish that you got to put a sticky weight on the outside of your rim. And uh, I never use a Luma S, but it's the same kind of deal if you have a staggered rim. Uh, this one here is actually just a steel rim. So when you have a steel rim, you don't choose any of these options. You just leave it black like that and you just hit spin. So we need a 75 and a 25. And where do you put them, you ask? I will spin the rim. I'm looking for the 75 one. I'm looking for full bars on the back side. There we go. As you can see, this one says inside, that one says outside. So I'm gonna do the inside first. It doesn't matter which one you do. And we got a 75. So I'm gonna put it at 12 o'clock on the inside. Always 12 o'clock on the inside. Always 12 o'clock on the outside. When you have full bars, that means you're ready for weights and you put it at 12 o'clock. Full bars, right there. So now, what we'll do, we will put our 25, 12 o'clock. Now we have our weights on, we'll give it another spin. We're looking for zeros. We need zero on the back, zero on the front. That means it needs zero weight. Yeah, wants another 20 on the back. So we'll go ahead, spin it till we get full bars on the back, like that. Take my 20, go 
at 12 o'clock. I'll snap it on. And I'll give it a spin. Just like that. Zero, zero. That's what we're looking for.